Just a quick little intro before we hop into this video to break down what we're looking at today. What I wanted to focus on is I've looked at a lot of wallets on my journeys over the years and I always kind of try to zero in on functionality and value. And I think every single one of these wallets will hit something on the list. Also, a lot of these wallets I've done deep dives on. So if there's an opportunity, there will be links above and below if you wanna do a deep dive, if you're interested in any of the wallets in this lineup here. Now we're gonna look at leather wallets, pop-up wallets, uh, more like hard case metal wallets. All of these wallets I think do a great job at holding cards and cash, uh, materials, value, warranty, a mix of everything. Some obviously hit all of those a little bit better than others, but I think every one of these wallets on the lineup is gonna provide you a lot of value. So with that, let's hop right into this video at my top 10 best EDC wallets. Starting off strong, we're taking a look at the Garzini Magic Wallet. Now, this wallet is made out of a premium top grain leather. Super beautiful stitching, very well put together, and I think a super unique design. As you can see, you can either open it from this way, either side, and we'll pack it out so you can see how this baby looks full of cash and cards. But a really interesting design, as you know, I love seeing wallets that kind of take a unique approach and kind of bring something new to the table. So this is definitely one to look at. And when it comes to packing and full capacity, I don't think you're gonna find a smaller, more compact wallet that can hold more, oops, that can hold more than this one. So let's get into it. Before we throw some cards in here and cash, let's just take a look and admire the leather and the details on this wallet. We have a little bit of an emblem and a logo here, and then also some little colorful details here, like almost like flag colors of the company there. But amazing stitching, great leather, feels really great in the hand as you open it up here. It has the Garzini name imprinted, embossed into the leather as well. Really, really very nice and well put together. Really, really well crafted. And I think everybody's gonna be really happy with the quality of this. Not to mention that it does come with a lifetime warranty. Can't beat that. So when you buy something and you have a lifetime warranty, it always makes you feel better. And on this list, this is one of the cheapest wallets you can get coming in at 45 US dollars. So a lifetime warranty for 45 US dollars, top quality materials, super unique design. You can see why I threw this one on the list. So let's take a look at the card carrying capacity of the Magic Wallet. And like I said, it does open like magic, <laughs> keeping slots from either side. But you have one, two, three dedicated slots on the front and the back of the wallet. In these slots, I'm saying two to three cards max. At the end of the day, if you put three in there, it's gonna be hard to maneuver and pull the cards out. So though it can hold three, I would limit it to two. So, you know, two, four, six, and six on either side. We'll pack it out so you can see. And then on the interior, you have two more dedicated spots for cards. Again, I'd keep that for two. So four on the interior and a band for cash. Nice and sturdy leather strap for cash. And as you can see, if you open it from there, you can put cash and this is alternative side for cash. So two areas to hold cash. And uh, let's get to it and pack it out and see what we get. All right, so I'm not going to go and pack that side out uh, just because this side is the exact same. So as you can see here, you're going to get in those two cards. Six and six is 12 plus four. We got 16 cards in there um, comfortably. Uh, 16 cards and pretty uh, again if you don't want to use this for cash we're we're going to use that for cash because i mean some people still carry cash but just know if maybe you don't carry cash you could easily get another three or four cards on both sides as you can see here just to kind of show you that i'm not going to put four cards in there now but there's two separate sides and uh yeah there's just a lot of options at for this wallet, you're not gonna find many that are gonna be holding 16 cards in a compact wallet like this. But as you can see, unbelievable carrying capacity for this, and let's not waste any more time and get to the cash with the Magic Wallet. Unfortunately, we gotta do some fancy folding here. A little tri-fold magic, as you can see. So let's speed it up again, and we're gonna see how many bills we could fit into the wallet. Like again, an interesting way it opens up, either side, how much cash we can get in here. Okay, 
As you can see here, we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to get it out, it's going to kind of come out this way. But before I start pulling the cash out, the interesting thing about this wallet is it still kind of lies flat because of the way it's designed. Now, is this going to be the thinnest wallet out there? No, but for comparison's sake, let's just take the sacred wallet, which I'll compare later on, and we'll kind of put them side by side. As you can see here, double, but the capacity of this is insane. You could probably slide a couple more bills in there. It doesn't hinder the closing of the wallet because, because of the way it's kind of put together, as you can see here. If you want access to cash on this side, open that way. You want access to this cash, you open that way. Really cool design, amazing capacity. Again, I didn't put the cards there, but you're getting a good 16 to 21 cards, easily getting five to 10 bills in here. An unbelievable carry for the Garzini Magic Wallet. And I think anybody will be very happy with the lifetime warranty and what you get for your money for $45 with this wallet. Let's keep it rolling. Another really interesting, unique wallet that I really love is the Winston made by Wingback, a company out of the UK. Handcrafted, unbelievably stitched, high quality leather here. Tuscan leather to be exact. Don't know if you can kind of see the grain there. I mean, it's super generous as you can see. Unbelievably well put together, super high quality. Not to mention a 30 year warranty on this one as well, but just want to give you an, this is custom. You can get different color threads for an added price, but uh, I chose green here. And then also you can see, you can get uh, quotes added for an extra cost as well, or your initials embossed, whatever you like. Otherwise this will be blank. If you just buy the stock wallet, it'll just say, you know, made in England and the wing back here, but just take a moment to uh, enjoy the, the leather and the stitching high quality stuff here to you, but a wallet that'll last you a lifetime. Now, the reason I like this wallet is just, again, it's super simple and really, really well made. Unfortunately, it does come at a cost. The other wallet was $45. This one is gonna cost you about $120 US for this wallet. But if you're looking for a classic looking small EDC wallet, very pocketable, that uh, it's not gonna be a crazy capacity, but formidable enough to get you through whatever you need. I definitely think this one is one to take a look at. So let's take a look at the capacity of the cards here. Now, being that this is made in the UK, the way that it's set up is if you had like British pounds, you don't have to do any fancy folding. You can lay them flat. But as you can see here, North American bills, Australian bills, are gonna be a bit long, so you're not gonna be able to keep it in perfectly. If you have euros, you'll be fine. If you have pounds, you'll be fine. But if you're using Australian, Canadian, or US dollars, your bills are gonna be too long. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to hamburger fold them and get kinda fancy. But again, most wallets are like that, and you're gonna have to fold your cash that way, or try fold it. And so how I've been doing it, I'll show you. I use this slot for cards, this slot back here, for cash and then I put cards in here. So why not take a look and see the capacity of the wallet with the cards. As I said, you're gonna be able to hold nine to 11. So I'm gonna recommend no more than three, wall uh, three cards in this slot here. You could put more if you needed to, you see you got space, but it just gets cumbersome getting cards out when you have too many in here. So I kind of keep that to three each on either side there. Again, you can put one extra if you need to, but the blessing of this wallet is you can throw more cards in the back. So four to five in the back easily, as you can see. And even if you have cash in there, you could use more cards on that side. But comfortably, I'm gonna say nine to 11 cards. And when it comes to cash, you're gonna be able to fold five to 12 bills in there. If you're using North American or Australian or Canadian money, as you're gonna see, you're gonna have to fold it like that but you don't want to overpack it because you're, you know, tri-folding it or hamburger folding it. And since there's no enclosure on this wallet, you don't want it to be too crazy, but it doesn't fling open that much. And to me, it was always a comfortable carry as long as you keep in about five to 12 bills on this side. And then again, if you have great British pounds, if you're carrying the, the British pound or the Euro, you can lay your bills flat here. And again, I would still 
keep it to that 12 mark. I wouldn't go above that. If you're folding it, keep it around five to six, but five to 12 with the Bills, nine to 11 cards, the Winston Wingback. Beautiful wallet, coming with a 30 year warranty. Definitely take a look at this one if you're something more classic and uh, more rustic, I'd say. Now another unbelievable value wallet. This is a pop-up wallet here. Also coming in at 45 US dollars. Now this brand Polaris, they have a ton of styles. This one is the Raven in particular. I just liked this one the best, but they offer a ton of value for what you get and, and the way that the, the wall is compartmentalized. Again, this is my favorite, but if you do think you might like this one, definitely take a look online because there's a ton that they offer and the way that it's set up when you open the wallet up. But again, it's a pop-up wallet, and this one does not come with a lifetime warranty, unfortunately, at $45. It comes with a one-year warranty. It is Italian leather, and as you can see here, for 45 bucks, you know, a lot of people talk about the Volkit wallet. I was not a fan. This to me, uh, and then the Garzini Magic wallet as well, for that $45 range, you're not beating these wallets in terms of price and value. Uh, one of my favorite things about this wallet is just the way it's compartmentalized. This one, you are actually gonna get a coin slot. Now, are you gonna use this for coins or cards? That's up to you. Uh, some people still use coins. You can use that for coins, but again, it's just an extra slot for value for cards or coins, and just really increases the versatility of this wallet. And one of my favorite things about this wallet is no fancy folding needed. As you can see, you put your bills in and it folds just like a regular wallet. You are not gonna find that too much these days with EDC, you know, pop-up wallets or compact wallets. One of my favorite things about this is you're not gonna have to do any strange folding your bills. And when you pull the bills out, they're not gonna be all strangely shaped and decrimpled up. But we'll get to the cash capacity later. In terms of the cards, now you have this aluminum housing in here what you're gonna get is you're gonna get eight cards in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Let's throw it in so we can see that it holds the eight cards. There we go. Bam, a lovely staggering motion, all fanned out, nice and easy so you can have access and find the cards you need. It's not coming out in a clump. Really nice and smooth action there. And when you pop it open again, you have some extra spots for cards. You have another slot for some cards here and then another slot here if you wanna put cards or coins. I personally enjoyed this for the coins because not a lot of wallets offer that. But if you wanna throw some more cards in here, you can get four cards into this slot here if need be. Right, throw it in there. That is the maximum, very tight, so. Keep that in mind, maybe two to three, but it can hold four if you need it. Coins, I'm gonna say you could probably hold 10 coins in there max. I would say keep it at five. Very versatile, another two to three cards. What you're getting in this wallet is you're getting a nine to 13 card capacity comfortably. And then when you have the cash, not having to have a crazy way to fold it. Let's see if we can get, I got 12, so let's throw 12 in. Let's see if we can get it. I'm gonna say five to 12 bills, but 12 being the max, but we're gonna try the max and we're gonna see how this wallet closes just to show you how great it is. It goes in just like a regular wallet, 12 bills here. And let's see if it closes. Might be a little tight, but like I said, this is the absolute max. You don't want any more than this. I would, like I said, keep it to that nine to 11 card range five to 12 in bills, but on that lower end between five and eight bills. But if you need to really pack it out, this wallet is amazing value for 45 bucks. Polaris Raven, if you like this, go check them out. They got a ton of styles on their website, all very competitively priced. Next up, one of my personal faves, just based on the firing mechanism and the way that this wallet is designed and laid out and put together, the Ondar Pilot wallet. This wallet comes in at 75 US dollars and it has a one year warranty. Unfortunately, not a lifetime warranty. I do love that, but I don't really think uh, you're gonna see too many problems with this wallet. I've been using it for a while 
and it's really well put together. All the parts, there's nothing that feels cheap or loose that it's gonna kind of clip off or break off. And again, I'll show you with the fanning mechanism. One of the smoothest fanning mechanisms on any pop-up wallet that I have used. Take a look at it. It is a lovely, lovely leather here, premium leather. Um, as you can see, nice stitching, nice generous amount of leather on the wallet. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed with this. Possibly the only downside for me is this cash band, but luckily they do have a cash clip variant. So if this wallet is something that is interesting to you, I would say go for the cash clip because as you're gonna see, you know, it holds the bills, but it does kind of slip and slide, which you don't want. Let's get to it. Let's see how much this wallet can hold in terms of cards. Now, I have seven to 12 capacity. If you wanna use this for cash, we're gonna just focus on this slot and the aluminum housing here. So throw in those seven cards so you can see. Now, those seven cards are gonna fan out really nice. As you can see that mechanism, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna get a smoother and more streamlined mechanism than that. Really, really enjoy the firing of this one. Nice even stagger you can see a lot of space to kind of reach the card you need. Really, really, really nice. And that little front slot here is for two cards maximum. It is a tight fit, so you're not getting more than two cards in there comfortably. So together, seven and two, nine cards. And again, if you wanna you know, utilize the back for some cards, you can definitely do that. You could probably get five cards in there. I have three right now, but since that's not dedicated for cards, we're just gonna keep it for that, seven and two. And when it comes to the cash carrying capacity, when you get the cash clip, you're gonna be able to get, I'd say five to eight bills, but I would keep it maximum five bills for this, just as you're gonna see. You have to do the little tricky fold again, like most wallets of this size. And it goes in nice and smooth, but one of the things that I did not like about this wallet that they remedied with the cash clip, as you can see, very easy for the cash to slip and slide out. You know, doesn't take much effort, but you're gonna be able to get the five to eight bills in there. We'll speed it up so you can see. So you can see that the five bills go in there, no problem. Like I said, keep it to around five to eight. There's five in there right now, but you could easily get three more in there. Like I said, the only issue is if you don't have the cash clip, the bills can slide out very easily. It doesn't take much and uh, you don't want that. So if this wallet is something that you kind of like the aesthetic of, and I'm a big fan of the fanning, no pun intended mechanism, get the cash clip variant, but a really amazingly well put together wallet. I love this company. Um, I really think you will love this wallet too. The Andar Pilot Wallet, let's keep it moving. Now, you know I couldn't make a top 10 video without featuring, and I don't wanna be biased because it is my personal favorite, though I shout out some other ones. This is always my go-to for recommendations. The Sacred Mini Wallet, I think it is the most balanced and best of all the qualities that I've ever seen or come across in a wallet, and I've yet to see a wallet that really outshines it. But We'll ignore that for now. I have a lot of videos you can go check out if you're interested in this one. The Sacred Mini Wallet is just an amazing wallet. Very well put together. It comes with a two to three year warranty. It comes in around 60 to $90, depending on the kind of sales going on during the time of year. An unbelievably well-made wallet. Generous pieces of really, really high quality leather. It is a eco uh, cow hide at uh, premium leather and a nice aluminum housing and two to three year warranty. I've been using this wallet for a long time. This is the wallet that I always come back to and uh, everything is working amazingly. So without me gushing anymore, let's get into it. As you can see, when it opens up, you have one, two slots here for some cards, a spot to hold cash, and you have that aluminum housing and that fanning mechanism to get cards popping out. So let's take a look at the mechanism. So with the aluminum housing, you're gonna get seven cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Get it in there in that aluminum housing. Put it in, you can see, bang. A great stagger, nice smooth mechanism and firing. Five years in the making now, apparently this gets up to a million. They've tested it for, uh, I don't know if I've got a million, but it's still working perfectly. 
Seven cards maximum in that aluminum housing. Now, as you're gonna see, this wallet has a ton of use. So you can see the, the leather is super worn in and, and, and broken in, nice patina. But when you buy this brand new, this will be a lot tighter than it is right now. Put a ton of cards in here. If I wanted to put five cards in here, I'm gonna say three and three total. I wouldn't go more than three and three, whether it's broken in or not, because if you wanna utilize this cash compartment, you wanna you know, keep things flexible, keep things easy. So three and three, and then seven, 13 cards. And just to show you, let's do the three and three. So you can see that it does in fact, I mean, I put more in there already, but so there's three. I'll throw in some more here goes in no problem and then has this little button clasp that still holds amazing to this day it's not popping off you have to really do that to get it so it still holds nice and firm and then we're going to open up the cash carrying compartment as you can see here it opens up like this so when you open your wallet this section here is going to be for the cash and you can just throw cash in like this and it holds it in any denomination any place it will go in there no problem and with ease it folds there are 12 bills in here right now i wouldn't put more than 12 even though it can hold it uh, i mean you could probably hold 20 max but i'd keep it at 12 12 to 15 comfortably three and three and it folds without a problem and it clips up no issues the sacred mini wallet my favorite wallet of all time unbelievably well made amazing company high-end materials I just think it's the best of both worlds. Check it out, the mini wallet. The Frenchy Speed Wallet. This is another one of my ultimate faves. It is a pull tab wallet here. As you can see, two fabric leather tipped pull tabs, which will pull the cards out of the wallet. A nice magnetic closure here. Nice powerful magnet to keep things from flopping open. This one, as you can see here, is an AirTag variant. So it comes with a little leather puck. If you wanna use an AirTag or if you don't, you can keep that closed. Um, it comes in at around $100 US, whether you get the AirTag variant or not. I would just recommend getting, since they're the same price, getting the AirTag variant, because it does come with this little leather puck that you can kind of close that hole. Uh, has a little French bulldog and looks like a little, like a golf driver perhaps. Um, but as you can see, really easy. You face the air tag, the white part out, you slide it in to the back here and it fits in just perfectly. Uh, so it does hold an air tag if you want that. We're here to see carrying capacity, so let's get to it. When this wallet opens up, you have a cash carrying compartment here, you have a card slot, and then obviously the two pull tabs with a card slot. A lovely, lovely eco tanned Italian leather here with the French eco embossed on the interior, and then also the French bulldog at the front. Lovely, lovely stitching. Really, really high end, soft, soft leather in the hand. One of the best feeling wallets out there you're gonna find, so I think you'll be very impressed with the quality and the craftsmanship on this piece. But let's get to it. I'm recommending no more than 10 cards max in all of the compartments. So let's, uh, and I'll kind of explain why as we go through, but one, two, three, four cards in. You slide it down, that pull tab goes down. Let's try four more cards. So as you can see here, nice and neat, keeps everything packed. Easy to pull the cards out. And as I said, you're gonna get four cards in there. I wouldn't recommend more than four to keep things comfortable. You can kind of fan them out sideways, pick the cards out that you need to pull out. So we'll try to get one in the middle. Really easy and nice and neat keeping everything compact. Once you crack it open, there is another slot in here. I'm putting two cards in here. I'm gonna show you why I recommend no more than two cards. Um, you're gonna see that there's actually a lot of space to, you know, if you'd like, throw some more cards in there. Uh, I'll throw two more. You could probably get five max, um, but as you can see, you could put four in there easily. But what ends up happening if you overpack the wallet, it gets a little thick. And what's gonna, if you want to use cash, that is, which I'm sure you are if you wanna buy this wallet. Uh, if you pack it too tight, what ends up happening is the magnets don't necessarily catch. So uh, right now we have all the denominations of bills. We got Canadian, US, Euros, pounds, just to show that you can fit any type of cash you want into the wallet. No problem at all. 
you can see that little crease there. This is all a magnet. And when the wallet goes, it will stay closed and not flop open. Um, but what ends up happening if you have, let's say, let's throw those two extra cards in there. What's going to end up happening is the wallet's going to be a little too thick and then now that magnet's not going to catch. So uh, keep that just with the two cards. And then in terms of cash, maximum amount of bills I'd put is nine. Right now we have nine bills total in there and it just catches. If you start throwing in more bills, it's gonna be a little too tough for the magnet to close. So four and four is eight, two cards is 10 and nine bills. That's gonna get you a fully packed Frenchie wallet that will close. But if you're in the market for a wallet that holds cash like a real wallet, closes up like a nice compact EDC wallet, the Frenchie Speed Wallet is the way to go. I think you'd be really impressed. Love the enclosure and the magnet and the little pull tabs. And the fact that it's the same price if you want AirTag or not, definitely one to look at. So let's keep it moving. So though I do find myself using leather wallets and I do get to test out a lot of hard case or metal type wallets, and I do like a few of them. And here is one of them, the Phantom X. Now this is a little bit more expensive, uh, one of the more expensive wallets on the list, unfortunately. But for the money, you get a lifetime warranty. So I always like to see people backing their products for your generous money that you give to them. Coming in at 100 to $140, depending on the variant that you get. Uh, you get some really high-end materials on this. You get a ceramic coated aluminum all the way around in terms of that main housing and the add-ons. This one being a carbon fiber variant. There is a wood grain variant as well. I'm just more partial to that, but real and, and made out of real wood, I might add, nothing fake. Uh, really just some high-end materials for the money spent. Again, you have some options when you buy this wallet. There is the extra slim, the slim, and the regular. The extra slim holds four to seven cards. The slim, which is this one here, holds five to 10 cards. And the regular variant holds seven to 13 cards. Uh, that does have some options on the website to kind of spec it out. Uh, this is a cash holder or kind of like a cash box that I got put on the wallet. Though you can put some cards in here as well. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of versatile that way if you get this add-on, you can put cash or cards in there. But without wasting time, let's get into it and throw some cards in here. Now this is supposed to hold five to 10 cards. Now I'm gonna have some mixed use cards, meaning I'm gonna have some flush cards and some with raised lettering. So we're gonna start off with eight. And there is one card in there with raised lettering. So just keep that in mind. Eight cards, no problem. Let's try nine, no problem. Let's try 10, like it says, a little tight, still works. I would keep it in at the 10. I would follow the directions. Um, again, there is one card with raised lettering, but you're gonna have no problem getting 10 cards in there. As you can see, a nice, even fan. All the cards kind of staggered out there. Uh, let's see if I just take one out just to make it a little easier. Let's see if it's a little bit more even. There you go. So. If you have totally all flush cards, 10 very easily, but if you are starting to add cards with embossed numbers or letters, that's gonna get less in terms of its capacity. So if you have one in there, I have nine right now, but as you can see, keeps it nice and even. And we're gonna take a look. Let's see the back here. Just in case you don't wanna use cash, we'll throw three cards in the back and let's see. Easily three cards. Let's take another card out. Uh, a little tight. So three cards in the back if you want to throw cards in there. But since we're not using the wallet for that, we're throwing some cash in there. Um, and let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, like most wallets, it's gonna take some tricky folding techniques. It's gonna hold any bill, obviously, because you have to fold it all interestingly. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna throw five to six bills in there. You have to try fold them, unfortunately, to get them in. So we'll just speed it up and show you as we go along. Yeah, but just keep in mind, any denomination, five to six bills. Okay, so we got it all in there. We have the five bills. 
we have the nine cards. And what you got is a nice compact, again, to get the access to the bills out. You just kind of fan them up. And I'm, I know it's probably not the most functional, but unfortunately, when it comes to these EDC compact wallets, the ones that you have to fold, which is 90% of the wallets out there, it's just how you have to do things. But I, I think it keeps everything fairly good. And if you try fold them, you have no problem with money coming in or out. Keeps everything nice and flush. Cards are not going to fall out due to the way this is kind of made here. And again, a really, really nice, beautiful lifetime warranty wallet made by Phantom X and one to look at if you're in the market for something interesting looking, a little bit more rugged and not made of leather. Now, speaking of non-leather wallets, this potentially could be the most interesting wallet you'll see for a very long time in terms of materials. By a company called Armonica, this is the Baza wallet. Now, simply looking at this wallet, it looks like plastic. It is very smooth, literally weightless, extremely, extremely light. It feels like nothing in the hand, uh, but it is actually and I'll just kind of show you on the interior here. It is very environmentally friendly, friendly. It is very environmentally friendly, low CO2, low carbon emissions. Um, this is in fact made of beans. <laughs> uh, this is a bio-based material that is made of beans, believe it or not. I did not know I would like this wallet, uh, but I came away really impressed in terms of the way it's minimally designed and the way it carries things and how much it carries for that matter. Uh, as you can see here, we have some made in Italy. That's where it is made, has my initials here. So if you do choose, you can get uh, a little bit of customization on this wallet, uh, Baza at the front. And as you see here, there is an opening. This is the AirTag variant. I'll just pop this in so we can cover that up, but it goes in very easily, very secure. It pops in and it just kind of bang, no problem at all. Uh, had zero problems with it falling out. Uh, but this is a very interesting wallet. Uh, coming in at, depending on the sale, 27 to 49 US dollars. And for that, you get a five year warranty. Uh, making this to me possibly one of the most um, bang for your buck wallets out there. A five year warranty for such an affordable wallet. It's at that price point of the Polaris with a better warranty. And if you want something interesting in terms of material, this is definitely one to look at. Uh, but without <laughs> kind of gushing over the beans of this, let's open it up. It is slated to hold around 12 cards, but it can actually hold much, much more. Uh, as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I mean, seven slots. You can put, as you can see in the back here, I left these for cash. They're a little bit more wider cut, but in these interior slots, you can hold three to four cards. I would limit it to three, so three, six, nine, 12, 15 cards. And then again, you could probably put four and four, um, but keep it at 15 so you can kind of keep these open for cash, but we'll, we'll get to it and I'll show you what I mean. We'll put three in each, we'll speed it up. Okay, so as you're gonna see here, you know, it again, it doesn't seem like it's super secure, but this is like a, almost like a button. Um, and it is a button, just a environmentally friendly bean button. Uh, but I had zero problems with this coming undone. Very nice and secure. But as you're gonna see here, it opens up and it kind of raises the center ones up. So for me, I kept this interior section for my credit cards, things that I need more access to. Um, for whatever reason, it just kind of rises up from the center. Uh, and I kind of like that. So. Your feature middle section is the cards you use most, uh, and I use my credit cards there. But as you can see, with ease, it holds that many cards throughout the center with those opening ones in the back, which I'm gonna use for cash. But keep in mind, this is a heavy hitter when it comes to in terms how many cards it can carry. Because this wallet is so light, it feels like you're carrying nothing already. But unfortunately, like every other wallet, minus a uh, select few, you have to try fold the bills. So we'll, we'll tri-fold the bills. I have different denominations. I have Canadian uh, and I have euros and pounds just to show different widths of bills. But, but you can put, I would keep it at five on either side. So 10 bills, we'll speed it up and then we'll come back in a second and talk. Okay, 
So this wallet is now absolutely packed, overstuffed for that matter. As you can see here, it looks a little wide. And that's because I put more cards than it's called for. So I'm being a little greedy here and I'm putting 10 bills and I'm putting 15 cards in there. If you take out three cards and we'll close it, you're gonna see it's not so bulgy. But if you want to, you can put 15 cards in here with five and five bills, whatever denomination of cash you want, uh, and it holds super light. Again, it's not a perfect wallet uh, due to the fact that you have to hamburger fold these bills. Um, you know, getting to the cards is easy. Getting to the cash, you know, is a little bit more difficult. As you can see, you have to kind of go through and pull them out, but it's a problem that a lot of wallets face, unfortunately, so I don't want to kill a wallet for doing it because a lot of wallets make you fold bills like this. But if you want a super affordable wallet, an interesting story to say your wallet's made of beans, you get some customization, and overall just um, really when it comes to value for money, you know, for 40 bucks, 45 bucks, a five year warranty, uh, a wallet that can pack in a lot of stuff, I think this is one to look at. So definitely keep an eye out if you're into something a little bit different, the Armonica Baza wallet one of my favorites thus far in my wallet journey. Now here's a wallet that is very interesting looking, very unassuming. It looks like it's going to be disappointing, but it is the farthest thing from being disappointing. This is the Akini Exto wallet. Uh, it comes in at around 95 to $110 and it does come with a 100% guarantee. Uh, I couldn't find the warranty on the website, um, but I think it is a lifetime warranty. I'm fairly certain it's a lifetime warranty. This is a wallet that I was just really impressed with. I did not think, it looks, like I said, totally unassuming, but it really packs a bunch, holds a bunch, and very unique. Not to mention, it's made in North America, machined in North America. Everything is from USA. I like to see things kind of being made in the West again, so it's great to see uh, just kind of, I'm not from the US, but I'll just say a homegrown product. When it comes to the materials, this is a brushed aluminum. Really, really nice. It's not gonna pick up any of the oils on your hand. Really high quality, uh, nice and sturdy and firm. As you can see, there's a little bit of flex, but it is, it's super, super durable. This little plate in the center here is actually made out of stainless steel. And this, I'll kind of show you here if I can pull it out. As you're gonna see here, oh, has a little bit of a flex and a bend to it. And this is because this is going to be where your cash is held. And that little flex and bend is also going to help you when you have your cards in here. And as you're gonna see, it doesn't look like it's gonna be much, but your cards are gonna sit in this section here and your cash is gonna sit at the bottom. And somehow it keeps separate and somehow it works. But one of my favorites, as I said, about 95 to 110 bucks, not cheap, but I think if you're looking for a hard shell wallet with a great build quality, this is one to look at. So let's get into the card carrying capacity of this bad boy. Uh, on the website, you can get four options. You can get a four card, a six card, an eight card, and a 10 card. Now, this was actually the eight card, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I personally, I think you can probably fit a plus two. So if you're gonna get the four, expect to put in six. This is the eight. I can easily get 10 cards in here and still have ample amount of space for the cash. Uh, and I'll show you right here that I got 10 cards, one in boss. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 cards, right? One of them is embossed. And as you can see, when it goes in here, no problem at all. 10 cards is the absolute max. So really expect for that one to two card extra, whatever variant you get. But as I said, there is a bottom compartment here, keeping open for cash. Once again, we have to be very unique in the way we fold our bills, like every other wallet these days when it comes to the you know compact EDC. Try fold them. I have all different denominations in here to show you. But one thing I will say, as you can see here, keep the openings of the bills at the bottom of that plate here. So it's flush, so when you're pulling cards out, it doesn't catch on the bill. Keep all those folds facing the bottom here. And it goes in the same way. And so 
as you can see, it'll sit in here, right? Got my cards, got my 10 cards here, and you just, let's slide this in here, bang. And as you can see, everything is separate, bills and cards. Now, when it comes to the cash, I'm going to suggest probably eight to 10 bills. I have eight at the moment at the bottom. So I have 10 cards and eight bills, but you can throw in another two bills, no problem. It's not gonna hinder anything because like I said, you can still see, I can still push down and there's still flex. So, I mean, just take a look at this. A super, super small compact wallet and you know, 10 cards, 10 bills. Super smooth, super flush and streamlined, really nice to hold in the hand. But there's a secret, I guess, because at the bottom of the Exto, there is another compartment that, and I will speak on this later because you do need this. And unfortunately, this comes at an extra cost, though luckily it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg and double the price of the wallet like some other brands. Uh, this is actually a business card holder and I don't use business cards, but you can actually throw in two more cards at the bottom here. I mean, you could probably put three cards at the bottom if you needed it, but uh, you can see here, it does hold three. But the issue is for me, if you wanna use this for business cards or you do wanna have just two cards at the bottom, it's very easy for things to kind of slide in and out. And this is what this is meant for. This is to keep things secure and safe so nothing is gonna come out. This is $13 uh, added on top of the cost of the wallet. Uh, otherwise your wallet's just open like this. But this adds an extra two cards or if you wanna use business cards, five business cards. So overall for me, I think this for the cost, for the warranty, uh, being a North American company, I think you're getting a really well-made, interesting and unique wallet. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to in terms of sliding cards out, but you can slide cards out from either side and fan them out and get what you need. I would suggest uh, keeping your more usable cards, the ones that you need more often at the top, makes life a little bit easier, the ones you don't use so much at the bottom, but it's, it's a really clean wallet and one I think a lot of people will enjoy and uh, a lot of great reviews online as well, but definitely take a look at it, the Akini Exto. Another hard shell wallet on the lineup. Again, one of my favorites that I have used. This is the Groove Life wallet. Now it comes in again, a little pricey, 100 to $120, but that gets you a lifetime warranty. A little Groove Life at the top corner there. Uh, just an overall really, really well-made wallet. Uh, uh, interesting wallet. I'm very appreciative as if any of my viewers know people that have original ideas and kind of take the pop-up wallet to their own lane and not kind of just copy the sacred with that pull. Uh, really, really love what they did here. It is made out of some really nice materials. It's a space grade aluminum alloy, uh, all the way around the housing all metal, no plastic to be seen anywhere. This does come with a cash compartment. So this one specifically has that nice thick leather with the card slot in the back and a cash band on it. One of my favorites, and I think one that you'll enjoy as well. Just a really unique way and take on the pop-up wallet. But let's not waste any more time, let's get to it. Now, this main housing compartment can hold seven cards. I would recommend six and I'll, I'll tell you why. So I have six cards here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Goes in, not a problem. Nice even fan. But if you throw in one more card, what ends up happening is it kind of doesn't go out. Now this might, I might call myself on it. Let's see, it's not as even. See how it kind of just chunks them out. So technically it can hold seven cards, but if you want an even fan, you only want to throw six in there. Uh, otherwise it's going to be kind of chunky like that. So we'll take out the one. So we're back in business. As you're going to see here, it has this little shoulder, keeps cards from sliding out. You're not going to have any issues with any cards sliding out when you have stuff in the wallet. Uh, it's just a really thoughtfully designed and unique wallet when it's compared to a lot of its competition, uh, comes in with that lifetime warranty, which we're happy to see 
all the time when you're spending a hundred bucks you want to know that your money's you want to know your money is going towards something that's going to last you and a lifetime warranty always gives me that kind of security so good to see on the groove wallets now on that back we can put two cards so all together you can get eight cards in this wallet if you didn't want to use cash as you can see here a fabric cash band with some rubber at the back to keep that friction from things sliding around you could probably put easily five cards in there comfortably i'm using cash because i still carry cash but uh, if we use the wallet as it's supposed to be six plus two and if you don't care about the even fanning you get seven plus two but i'd say six and two and again, a little hamburger fold action. We can put five to 10 bills in here. I'm gonna go eight, just because that's kind of what I find myself carrying for the most part. I never carry more than eight bills. We have different denominations, but as always, if you're hamburger folding, any bill from any country is going to work. And as you're gonna see, I got eight bills in here. Fits in, no problem. A very compact wallet. Now the most compact wallet for me, for the most part has been the Akini Exto, and as you can see here, in terms of its footprint, uh, not much bigger. It is thicker, obviously, once you have the cash on the back, um, but a really nice footprint, really nice wallet, and again, a super interesting take on the pop-up wallet. I think they deserve some extra points just for being original, uh, and I really enjoy seeing that kind of stuff from companies, not just ripping off or copying another company. So. Take a look at this one if you're in the market for a hard shell pop-up wallet. The Groove Life is definitely a winner. Uh, so there you have it. My personal favorite top 10 wallets that I have ever used that I think you will also enjoy. As always, if you're interested, there's links down below for more in-depth on a lot of these wallets. And as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Be safe and well out there. Until the next one, later.